What's going on guys? Welcome back. Haha. <laughs> yes, you already know if you've seen my last reaction of this show, episodes one or two. Fire. Fire. I love this show. Well, right now I do. I don't know. Stuff might happen later on, you know. That caused me probably not to like the show. But right now, two episodes in. It's not a good sample size for me to say, um, you know what I'm saying? This is some all time greatness, but it is something that's definitely intriguing enough for me to say, I want to see more. It's great. The structure is great. The dialogue is great, even though it's German with English subtitles. You know what I mean? So. I'm enjoying this show so much guys, you know what I mean, like I'm enjoying it to the point where I really want to binge watch it. I'm definitely going to finish the first season by the end of this week, today is Tuesday, so I should be done with um, this, the first season by the end of this Tuesday and early access will be available for next week. Today is September 1st today is september 1st just started reacting to the show i think it was a couple of days ago a couple of days ago um i wanted to continue but i had to go do something so today is the day where i continue to watch if you guys don't know what's going on on the channel today um which you're seeing this in my future and i'm recording this in the past but today september 1st for me um memberships went live um i did make a video that you guys can watch just to where i explain the tiers and what you get at each tier um so for early access only pertains to all the new shows that are coming that you guys are yet to be seen so um so even if you're watching this whether you have early access to this or you're watching this on youtube um i don't know if my intros are going to be on early access probably not um i don't know yet but there's a possibility that my intros um will be on early access or i might decide to just give them a link to the google drive where they can just go to the google drive and just watch the videos early and then one week after that um the regular um youtube watchers will get access to my dark reactions now for all the new shows that i'm doing i haven't announced all of them yet but your boy is out here reacting like a mofo you know what i'm saying but any <laughs> but anyways man we gonna jump into this this is all about time and i'm always interested it's one of my favorite um story points that anybody could write because it's always when it comes on to time travel it's always a hit or miss when it comes on to series that tackle this kind of storyline it's always a hit or miss i don't know why i'm so intrigued by time travel i just think it's a very intriguing thing to think about even though you know it's really not it's really not possible only by visual you can see visual time lapse in real life if you fly out of space um you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you got to be so far away to actually see time lapse happen. You get what I'm saying? But it is it is a possibility on a visual level, but it's not a possibility where somebody could actually control time, like building a time machine. This makes it so interesting, right? So we're going to dive into some more dark episode. I'm excited, man, because I'm already loving this series, even though I got to read subtitles. And for the first time, you guys actually have to read some subtitles too, right? But it's okay. It's okay. You know, us anime people around here you know we watch a lot of this stuff but for our tv show guys this is probably going to be the first time where i'm actually watching something i don't i'm not even doing full screen because i don't want to be my big head to be in the way of the subtitles so we're using a smaller screen for this series so hope you guys understand that and you're not too mad about it um just understand that i'm enjoying this series hope you guys are enjoying it too hey man they show you a, a a little screen on the on on the bottom 
of stuff on YouTube with some cut up reactions, man. You guys got full reactions from me. You know, I don't want to say I'm great, but I am. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'll see you guys for the review. Make sure you hit that like button too, man. Don't forget to do that. Turn on your notifications so you know when more dark episodes are coming out. Um, see you guys for the review. all right what's going on guys welcome back for the reviews episode three and four is in the books and my god what a show man as i was saying during the reaction man like i've watched basically around four hours not a complete four hours of the show um so far so good but it's like i'm pretty sure at least three hours of the show no dialogue and i mean i'm i'm enjoying it don't get me wrong it's not like i'm taking a hit at the show you guys know how much i'm enjoying it there is no problem there it just goes to show you how good of a show it is there's no there's pretty much not a lot of dialogue much of what they're trying to show you you gotta like visually take pictures of what you're seeing because i know a lot of this stuff is gonna come back around to 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 help us to understand what's going on in this story so when it comes on to to um what's happening in episode three they kind of showed what was going on with mikhail and the time period that he ended up in kind of introduced us to the, the characters that we know in 2019 what they were doing back then in 1986 okay so it was very intriguing to see because we still don't really know anything and that's why i said i'm confused because at this point there at this point there is no way for you to tell what's happening you are getting clues and hints but you still can't really connect it to anything you just kind of know that everything is kind of connected because they keep saying that but you don't know what exactly is going on why are you know people from the future showing up in the past um why did Mikkel get transferred to the past does somebody have a time machine is the time machine with the people at the power plant what is the importance of the power plant you get what i'm saying why did they show in the past the lady that was the head of the power plant that went down in the cave because they had some secrets and showed all these drums with radiation signs on them um uh so there's much to talk about but not much to comprehend you get what I'm trying to say? Like you can't really connect anything in the story yet. And that's what's intriguing about it because you're like, I really want to see what happens because I don't want to be left out when when they're connecting all the dots for me. And and there's two more seasons of the show and I'm only four episodes in and I'm like, are they going to reveal anything by the end of this season? Probably not. But I hopefully they do at least give us a hint of what's taking place is it you know it, yo i would go to drastic measures to find my kid too so i can't blame you know what i mean i can't blame ulrich i can't blame him you know what i mean there's some issues that he had when he was younger you know um when his brother was missing um so the funny thing is Mikkel and Mads they look basically identical you know what I mean so Mads is missing I don't understand how is it that Ulrich didn't look at this kid and be like man you look just like my brother you know what I'm saying like what the hell you know what I mean but his brother disappeared when he was a bit older I mean when you look at that picture the picture that that Mikkel put picked up in the police the, in the police office right when he was in there and he picked up the picture and on the back of the picture it said Mads and Ulrich right Nielsen so if you look at the picture again right I could go back and find it but I don't really want to it looks just like Mikkel just a little bit older so in my opinion I don't understand how people are not 
picking up on these little clues you get what i'm saying um the scene where he walks into the school and said my mom is the principal here and there's this girl that he was talking to and i'm like are high schoolers this stupid or or they're just this dumb and you understand if it was me i'm just saying in the context of real life if you see a kid walk in scuffed up not the age they're not supposed to be in the high school they're supposed to be at their school shouldn't you try to get help shouldn't you bring him to the principal call call the police or something because this kid is obviously out of his mind instead of saying this is an 11 year old kid right and you're gonna look at this kid this kid comes up to you and, and looks like he's lost and your reaction is you know you're you know why are you doing acid or something why would you make a comment like that you get what i'm saying like why isn't your initial reaction worry when you see a kid in that condition that's a problem that is a problem you know what i'm saying like for me i don't care what country you're in and how old you know i know that kids grow up a little bit faster in certain countries but I'm talking from a perspective from a person who's from Jamaica where kids grow up pretty fast. I mean, I was in high school when I was 10 years old, but that doesn't mean that if some if I'm walking through the town, if I'm walking through the town after school and I'm bruised up, at least I'm telling you, at least 10 people is going to stop me to ask me what happened before I get home. I'm telling you, even if it's, I got into a fight and this is just the bruises from the fight, I'm telling you at least 10 people is going to stop me and ask me what happened before I get home. And I'm not talking about like people who, um, live close to me or anything like that. You get what I'm saying? I'm talking about complete strangers are going to ask me what happened. You know what I mean? So it just kind of it's just kind of weird to me that that played out. I don't know if I should call that a flaw in the show because that it could be that's how things are handled in Germany. I don't know. I don't know. You know. You know, so I don't want to chart that up. It didn't take me out of the immersion of the show at all. It's just it just came at weird. It ju it's just really weird to me that a kid walks up into the school bruises on his face and stuff like that and the high school kids are just like whatever <laughs> you know what i mean so yeah man so i'm really looking forward to see where this plot line is going to go even though there's really no plot to follow right now we just gotta wait for everything to connect but they're keeping you so intrigued by what's going on like so many questions that you could ask after every episode you know what i'm saying like where is this going who the hell is noah where is he coming from um you know what i'm saying uh this is just crazy they made that that redhead girl um i don't remember her name but um charlotte's older daughter right like you know like they made her seem like she was kind of suspect and all she's trying to do is just sell some drugs and you know make some money so she could probably get out of wilden or whatever um when is it wilden or winden i think it's winden no, winden whatever i don't remember but at the same time man i'm so intrigued by this um hope you guys enjoyed these reactions man i know i did um so hopefully you guys leave a leave a like leave a comment on the videos and you already know what it is. Gratitude is never enough. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I'm out. Peace.